The expected growth of bank assurance in the GCC, where insurance providers sell their services through a partnership with banks as a distribution channel, had been in focus at the inaugural three-day bank assurance MENA summit. According to the GCC Insurance Industry Report by Alpen Capital, bank assurance will be one of the fastest distribution channels of insurance in the GCC over the next two years, and it estimated the industry to be worth $37.5 billion by 2017. Banking and insurance professionals discussed strategies to develop effective working relationships to capitalize on the growing markets, which the Alpen Capital Report estimated the insurance sector to record a compound annual growth rate of 18.7% until 2017. According to the delegates, the penetration rate of insurance in the GCC is around 1.7%, while the transitional market and lack of awareness remains one of the key challenges for the growth of the scheme. We are uh, trending on a very peculiar boundary wherein the banks have a responsibility of offering the core banking products and then offering insurance product as a distributor of, uh, of uh, a need which is uh, predominantly underserviced in this region. And uh, therefore, we think that uh, from a banking standpoint, insurance remains a key uh, product line for us to generate the fee income revenue, which uh, is always good from an institutional standpoint. From a statistical standpoint, if you see, I think that the, the growth in insurance business across uh, UAE has been somewhat in the region of 10% year on year, which is unprecedented given what, has, what was happening pre-crisis. So I think there is, there is a lot of importance that has been placed on insurance, both from the consumer and from the banking channels, alongside the support from the insurers, but eventually it will all converge into one single theme and that theme should be customer centricity. The summit also comes at a time following the recent passing of the law by the Dubai government for a mandatory health insurance for all residents to be provided by the employers by 2016. Relationship management was one of the key discussions at the summit with regards to ensuring profitability, where representatives from the banks added that bank assurance schemes will allow them to generate fee income. While the insurance companies benefit by gaining access to the bank's client database and using their quality of sales. Meanwhile, for the customers, such schemes can allow them to acquire such services from a trusted provider and offer convenience with regards to payment plans. If you have a trusty customer who has been with, uh, with you, who has bought one product or two products, he's going to be a customer for the future. Now, a customer, if you look at the life stage of bank assurance or any, any kind of a, a industry, there is a pioneering phase, the growth phase. You associate that same to the life stage of a customer. Uh, he has been in, in the bank, uh, started off as a savings account, then he gradually updated himself with various other products. And uh, bank assurance products or insurance products to be more specific uh, is going to help him to have uh, products that cater to different needs based on his life stage focus. And now if you have a very good uh, um, or a long term customer, the chances are that his family would be your next customers. So he's just not one customer, he can bring a group of customers.